Hi guys, hope you are all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to draft a sleeve pattern. Stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm going to show you what we'll be needing for drafting a perfect sleeve. We are going to be needing our measurement tape. We need a pencil or a pen. We need our paper scissors. We need our rulers. Hip cup ruler, cup ruler, and the cup, the handhold ruler or a cup ruler. You definitely need this ruler. Either this ruler or this ruler. In fact, you need both through all the rulers for the um drafting of the sleeve pattern and then the measurement we'll be needing we need the length of the sleeve which is 10 inches your bust measurement I'm using my bust measurement 48 and you need your round sleeve or your biceps you need your elbow because it's a short sleeve measurement we need our shoulder to ham hole measurement or your armpit. Your shoulder to your chest line or your arm hole point. So those are the measurements we'll be needing. Now to create a um, sleeve pattern, there is something called cap. Cap is here. The roundness of the shoulder is the cap. So we are going to create a cap first, then we, we take all the rest measurements along. So first thing first, we are going to take the length of the sleeve, which is 10. Then you mark it down. My bust divided by 12. Your bust needs to be divided by 12. So your bust divided by 12, mine is four and a half. If I divide 48 by 12, plus half an inches, so in allowance, is four and a half point plus half an inch, so it's 4.75. So I'm going to use four and a half, which I think is okay for me. So I'm using four and a half, so you mark four and a half down here. So you take your straight ruler, and you just draw a straight line across. Draw a straight line across. Okay. Now my half hole length is nine plus half an inches. That is nine and a half. From this point here, we are going to draw a slanted line to the tip of the sleeve. You take your ruler and you draw a slanted line from the nine and a half point to the tip of the sleeve. Okay. Now we are going to look for the middle, the midpoint of this slanted line we are going to look for the midpoint if you measure it so you know how long it is so the midpoint is 10 and a half so you look for the midpoint of 10 and a half
hold your measurement tape just as you see me doing. So the midpoint of ten and a half is five and a quarter. So put your measurement tape there and you mark five and a quarter. That's the midpoint of this slanted line. So from this slanted line, from this midpoint here, you are going to mark half an inch upward. Half an inch upward, guys. And then you take your ruler and roll it just a straight line here. Okay. So from this point here, the half an inch point here, you are going to connect this nine and a half inches um, point to this half an inch point here. So you take your ruler. So, and then now you need your curve ruler. That was why I said it's very important to have this ruler. You take your curve ruler because we are now going to create the cap. The cap is like a C, a semi C shape. So, you need the curve of this ruler to create it. So, from this half an inch point here which is the midpoint of the slanted line. From this midpoint here, remember I drew half an inch upward. So from that point there, you use your curve ruler and you draw a curve to the point of the sleeve. Hope you can see what I'm doing, guys. Now, this is how the back sleeve look like. This is the back sleeve okay so to get the front sleeve you need your ruler again the curve ruler so you see how important it is either this curve ruler or this one or you can use French curve so you take your curve ruler again at the midpoint here that's the exact midpoint here not the half an inch is up. The exact midpoint here, you put your curve ruler there because we are going to draw a curve to the tip of the sleeve again. So you draw another curve to the tip of the sleeve. And then from that, the same midpoint, you are still going to be using your ruler you are now going to draw a curve, like an S-shaped curve, to the nine and a half point. So, I'm going to draw it again. Okay, guys. So, this first one here, this one here, the back sleeve opening. And then this one here, front, front. my elbow because it's a short sleeve my elbow is 14 divided by 2 is 7 so you mark 7 here don't forget this draft doesn't have sewing allowance so you will need to have sewing allowance of maybe half an inches or one inches so this is my elbow measurement okay so I'm just going to add sewing allowance. So let's say I'm going to add um, one inches sewing allowance here, one inches sewing allowance here. Okay, and then at the bottom here, one inches sewing allowance as well. This is to fold, 
to hem the sleeve at the bottom. I just take my ruler and draw a straight line. So now you need your hip curve ruler. You need your hip curve ruler to connect the joining together. This point here, you can you can draw it very nicely just to make it look more like a proper sleeve. You just use your curve to just correct the curve properly. So you need your hip curve ruler. You take your hip curve ruler from the top of the sleeve here, which is the the nine and a half inches point i added one inches for sewing allowance to your um elbow because it's a short sleeve you can use this it's the same method for long sleeve and then you just draw a straight line and that's your sleeve pattern okay so what you do now is you are going to cut the back one out first when you cut the back one out you use you take another paper and transfer it into that paper before you now cut the front one out don't forget cut the back one out first take it Transfer it into another paper, then cut the front sleeve shape out. And there you have your draft sleeve pattern, which you can keep and use for any um, style. In another video, I'm going to show you how to draft a puff sleeve and all sorts of sleeves. But this is just the basic pattern for the sleeve. Thanks guys for watching. If you like this video, please thumb up, comment, share and subscribe if you haven't done so already.